Ja, hij staat aan. Ah. Bye. Good morning and welcome to Pak Porito in San Isidro Generaal per Celadon. The starting point of the continuation of a road trip through Costa Rica. Now so far we've already seen part of the central part of the country and part of the west coast. With San Isidro Generaal as a starting point, we'll first go to the Valle de la Muerte. Or in English, the Hills of Death. Now why is it called the Valley of the Death? I will tell you later. And we we'll also make a pit stop at Parque Nacional Los Quetzales. From there on we go to the Turrialba Valley. We'll go through Turrialba Valley to the east coast, the Caribbean side, where we'll do some more exploring. From there we go up to the north part of the country, all the way to the west to Tamarindo, and then from Tamarindo back through the west coast back here to Terra Celadon. But first we're going to enjoy a beautiful ride in the Valle de la Muerte. So it's uh, relatively early, we're all ready and set to go. So without further ado, let's hit the road. Welcome to our first point of interest, El Cerro de la Muerte, or in English, Valley of the Dead. Now, I already hear my mother having a slight panic attack, but let me tell you why it's called El Cerro de la Muerte. The Cerro de la Muerte is a passageway between San Isidro de General and San Jose, which has been used for many, many years. Before there even was a road, people had to walk or go by donkey or by a horse, and it would take a couple of days to get from one point to the other. It was dangerous and therefore the name Cerro de la Muerte. For now, we can just enjoy the views and easy riding. Halfway past the Cerro de la Muerte, we have Parque Nacional de los Quetzales. Now the Quetzales are a very unique breed of birds that can't be found in many places. Of course, the better chance in the Quetzal Park. So without further ado, let's go and check them out. The making of our videos really takes up a lot of time. So make sure to smash that like button to show your appreciation. Subscribe if you haven't yet and activate the notification bell to stay updated on new uploads. Thank you very much. The entry cost to the park is roughly 6,000 kilometers, which comes down to $10 plus taxes. There's two hiking trails you can do. Now the best time of the year to see the Quetzales is in February till April. That's when the fruit that they mainly eat is in bloom. Any other time of the year you're basically down to your luck. So we're gonna be on the lookout and hope that we're lucky.
So, as you can see, we have reached the end of the hiking trail. Now, unfortunately, we did not see any catsellas or other animals. According to the guide, most of the mammals that live in the park are night animals, so they only come out at night. And the best time of year to see the catsellas is in April. To hear the catsellas, because you rarely see them as they're really well camouflaged, is a high pitch and then a low pitch sound. You hear them and then you know where to look. Or you take a guide with you. Uh, is it worth the $10 or not to come here without having to see anything? It's completely up to you. It's a nice hike, but you can also look for private areas outside the park. And I don't know the price for it, but you probably pay a little bit less. My advice, if you come here, do come here between February and April, mainly April, to be sure, or at least have more chance to see some of these beautiful birds. For us, it's better luck next time. For now, we continue our journey, enjoying the beautiful scenery along the way. Next stop is Turialba, from where we will visit the abandoned Carlos Duras Sanatorium and the Irisu Volcano. But that's the story for next week. Thank you very much for making the time to check out our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our playlist to see more Costa Rica and other travel related content. I will see you in our next adventure. Pura vida!